I've made $14,000 in one month with my new education platform. So here is the story of how it happens. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Eat the Blocks, I help you to become a blockchain developer. So I've just launched a new education platform for learning blockchain development. This is called the 30 Day Academy. And really the idea is that you can learn blockchain development in 30 days. So each course is a series of 30 challenges with the solution. It's all very action-based. So contrary to traditional video courses, which tend to be a little bit more passive and you don't produce, you don't really have good results. So with this platform, you actually do something. And the inspiration I got is from one of my old blockchain courses that I did really back in the day. And this, this course was really popular and it was the same format where you learn in 30 days. So at that time I thought, okay, well, why not building a whole platform based on this concept? But I didn't do it and for many years I just keep thinking about it and finally I decided to do it this year. So I really like the idea of standardizing learning into a specific format because once we have developed a format that is attractive to students, then students will naturally come back for more courses with the same format. And for this new platform, I also wanted to keep everything in text format, no video, because really video just takes forever to create. It's way easier to create content based on text. And it's also easier to keep this up to date, which is very important for programming courses. And at the end, it means that I will be able to grow a much bigger catalog compared to if it was video based. Um, so why did I decide to create this? Um, so first of all, I've been dreaming of having my SaaS since many years. You know, it's like the dream of most programmers. We all want to have our own SaaS, but unfortunately for most of us, it never happened. But Finally, I have an idea that can actually work. So this, this is something that really motivated me. I also wanted to get back to coding production apps. So, you know, on this channel, I do a lot of tutorials and, you know, well, for tutorials, it's always something easy that you do, but I really wanted to confront myself to production again. Um, so that was another motivation. And another motivation also was to separate myself from the business. So, so far what I've been doing with Eat the Blocks was I was selling courses and boot camps. And the problem is that the whole business was very tight to me, uh, which means it's not sellable because, you know, when you show this to a buyer, it's like, okay, well, if I buy your business, what do I buy exactly? Because I cannot buy you. So it's not really sellable. It's also harder to delegate because Everything is just so centered around yourself. So I wanted to try something else for my next business. I wanted to have a business that can exist without me, a business that can be delegated to a team and ultimately sold. So I don't plan to sell the 30 day academy anytime soon. I mean, it won't be sellable before a few years. And right now I really love it, but I already anticipate that maybe at some point, maybe let's say in five years, I would want to sell it. Um, so this needs to be an, uh, anticipated. You need to have the right strategy. And with the strategy of the 30 day academy, I will be able to do that because the core value of the platform is the format of the course, because it doesn't matter who create the courses. It doesn't have to be me. I can delegate this part, which means that I won't be the bottleneck because I cannot be an expert in everything. So how I created the 30 day academy. So I use Ruby on Rails, uh, which is a very well-established web framework. It's kind of old and nowadays everybody talks of Next.js. I've already used Next.js for other projects, but Next.js is very bare bone and you're actually not as productive as with Ruby on Rails. Like in terms of productivity, Ruby on Rails is number one, absolutely unchallenged. And, uh, and even though this is an old framework, they've kept modernizing it. So it's still very valid. And actually for most SaaS, this is probably the best choice. 
Uh, for deployment, I use something called Capistrano. So Capistrano is a tool that allows you to directly deploy your Ruby on Rails on your server with just a command on your computer. So that allows you to iterate fast so that every time you want to push a new feature, you don't have to log on your server and download the code and restart the server, etc. No, you, you want it to be as smooth as possible. So when I ship a new feature, all I have to do is run one command on my computer and in a couple of seconds, it's live on my server. Uh, it was a little bit annoying to set up everything, but now it's working, so it's awesome. For the server, I use the combination of Nginx, so you know, this is a traditional server that is used by a lot of application and uh, a sort of plugin of Nginx called Passenger. So uh, Passenger allows to route your request to your Rails application. And everything is deployed on a VPS uh, on Linode. So uh, this is not like Heroku where they manage everything for you. So in this case, I do have access to the server. Uh, for the database, I use SQLite, which is a SQL database, so similar to MySQL, but the difference is that it's file-based, so you don't need to define user and permission, it's just a file on the disk, so it's the absolute most simple database that you can have. Yes, it's not as scalable as MySQL and Postgres, but you know, this is won't probably be a problem until the website becomes big. So for now, we're just going to keep it as simple as possible. I also use a lot AI, especially cursor AI to help me to code. So I don't know Ruby on Rails at all. I'm a beginner, but thanks to cursor AI, I was able to iterate really fast. Um, Sometimes you have to guide it because the solution it produced might be a little bit complicated. So you have to tell it, okay, well, let's try to do it in another way. Uh, so if you are an intermediate to senior developer, I think Cursor AI is very good. If you're a total beginner, uh, not so sure. And one thing I've been wondering when I built the 30 Day Academy is, is building my own thing really the right choice? Because, you know, it, it really takes time to build stuff. It's not like when you pay for a SaaS, when you pay for a service. In this case, for any feature, you have to do everything, even the CSS. And there were some scary moments, for example, some failed deployments. For example, my, my latest updates, when I pushed it, I actually broke the app. And, you know, right now I have some users, so I have to fix it really fast. Um, so it's really like an emotional roller coaster. Like you go through moments where you're like very frustrated and you think, oh, okay, is it really the right choice? And then when finally everything is working, then you feel so smart. You feel at the top of the world. So I wonder really, is it the right choice? Um, but the thing is everything with this strategy, everything is very customizable. There is never a moment when I think, oh, can I do this? Uh, does the platform allow it? No, it's I control everything. So I can do whatever I want. And if you want to do a very ambitious project, which is my case for the 30 day academy, I think that uh, right building from scratch is the right choice. And especially now with AI, it is less intimidating as before. So now what about the result of this platform? So I've launched this platform uh, very recently. I launched it for Black Friday. So it was uh, at the beginning of December. And uh, I, for the launch, there was a special deal, which was a lifetime pass that gives you access to all courses. And so I was a little bit nervous. I wasn't sure if people would like it because it was both a launch but and a discount at the same time so people didn't really know what's the how, how, what is the platform and i was very positively surprised because there were many customers and i've made fourteen thousand uh, dollar which is amazing for a launch so on eat the blogs for my previous black friday the past few years i've actually made way more than this um so comparably it's not so much but this is a new project okay so for a new project is actually really good so i plan to reinvest all of this money into course creation because this is the absolute priority right now now a big question i have is does it validate the product uh, do i have product market fit 
And you might be tempted to answer yes, but I wouldn't be so sure because Black Friday is a little bit special. So people tend to buy more easily for Black Friday. So I haven't declared victory yet. Uh, I don't know if that means that people love the course format, but let's say this is a good first indication, but now I should uh, really create more content and keep iterating on the platform. After that, I rolled out a subscription, so monthly subscription, uh, where basically gives you access to all the courses. I, it was only, I made this only last week and weirdly I haven't seen any sell yet. Um, but yeah, he wasn't online for a long time. So what's the problem? Maybe a subscription make less sense currently because there's just one course at the moment. Uh, maybe that a one-time payment makes more sense. A one-time payment that will give you access to everything is maybe more appealing, even if it's more expensive. Uh, and later, once there are enough courses on the platform, maybe that I can introduce back the sus subscription, but I'm not sure. So yesterday I pushed some new feature to the platform. So now we have proper user account uh, for the V1 for Black Friday. I, it was just basic HTTP authentication. So really, really bare bone. But now we have proper user account. Now we have a nice navigation bar. Now you have a button to mark each challenge as done. And you have a progress indicator. Uh, so some uh, gamification. And for the long-term plan of the 30-day academy, so there are a couple of features that I like to add, including AI feedback. So I like to have a way for you to get some feedback that is uh, generated by AI. So when you try to solve a coding challenge, I think feedback is very important. I also want to add a leaderboard. Um, and of course, for, I want to grow the course catalog with many courses. So there are different kind of courses. First, we have skill-based courses. So this is like the first course that we have now on the platform, which is a course to learn Solidity. So the idea for these skill-based courses is you have 30 coding challenge of increasing difficulty. And at the end of the project, uh, at the end of the, the course, you have acquired a new skill. The second kind of course that uh, I want to introduce is project-based course where uh, basically we build a whole project over 30 days. So each day is a step in the project, like for example, creating your meme coin. Uh, and finally, I also want to introduce non-technical courses um, because I think when you learn programming, it's very powerful to also work a little bit on non-technical skills. Uh, for example, let's say you're a programmer and you build your uh, your blog, okay, your, your technical blog. Uh, maybe some courses on how to make money with freelancing as a blockchain developer. So I would like the 30 Day Academy really to have all these different kind of courses. Um, so for the next courses that will come next month, there will be a course on smart contract testing and there will be another course project based on how to create your meme coin. And for Christmas, we are going to do a special discount for the 30 day academy. So if you want to receive this discount, register with the link down below. All right, that's it for this video. Bye.